Now let's talk about a couple of different methods of doing it because it, it is of value to understand how to use the snap mode down here. And that's why these tools get such a prominent position in this layout so that they're readily available to you. So this top snap mode called no snap, it is basically a toggle to set for any of these ones underneath it. It's an override. So if that is off, then these now start becoming active. If this is on, these basically mean nothing. It's a way of turning the rest of them on and off. So if we're going to start discussing the snap modes, then we need to turn this guy off first. Now any snap mode that I have below here becomes of interest to us. Now specifically this one, Vertex, is of interest to us right now because this one snaps to the end of the end of line all right and also this thing called show magnetic point it's a toggle and what it does is it shows you the points when you're actually drawing a line you can move on to there and you can see how as i touch the line this end piece is highlighted so i touch it now you'll see as i go on to the right hand side that side's highlighted and this side's highlighted and it works the same on this line and when it's highlighted, that means if I click at that point, it's going to find that vertex. Now, it's looking for the next vertex. So, the moment I touch that line, it goes there. And here's a, also another gotcha that uh, often happens, and we get people saying that their, their lines have just disappeared. Uh, you see, as I'm drawing on to the middle here, I'm snapping to this vertex, but then the one line draws over the other line. And it's actually precisely, and because of the the way computer monitors work, it's very difficult to get rid of that problem, if not impossible, because of a function called XOR or something, and the way that they actually draw dots on computer screens. So that's why that line disappears. So if I was to click at that point, it would redraw it, and then it would be fine. But as I'm, as I'm trying to preview where the line is going to be, that line disappears. So clicking on this end and then clicking on that end would get me the same result as moving here and going V and going V. And moving down, these snap modes as you're drawing are, are vital to your precision in your drawing. And so let's take a look at this one called middle point. In addition to uh, the vertex, which snaps to the end of lines, middle point will find the middle of lines. So here I can draw lines by just clicking on the middle of these lines, and it perfectly finds the middle of these lines. And so when you're designing, that is something that is often very handy, is to go to the middle of a line. And this one below it, it will actually let you choose a division. Now the way you can choose, in this case, it's by default, I believe, it's three. So yes, you see, it's dividing this line into thirds. I think you need to mention, um, and notice the cursor is changing. We've got multiple snaps on, and so as you're moving your cursor around your, your drawing here, you'll notice the cursor actually changed. That is yeah. the divide by. Uh, if you go to the line middle, that is the middle snap. Notice the, yeah. the icon next to the cursor indicates which type of snap mode is going to be invoked at that particular instant. Okay, good. Thanks, Dave. That definitely is an important visual aid. And also now, to define uh, the number of division points here, you could um, right-click this word snap down here. You come down onto you right-click it, and then you get all of the snap settings. And there's too many settings to discuss right now, but this is very similar to all of these guys down here. And right now you can see we've got these two vertex ones on snap. Okay. But here I can change this division to be uh, 5 or 3. Let's just change it to be 8. And now it's going to snap every 8th of an inch along there, or every 8th, the, the complete distance divided by 8. Okay. It looks like the uh, snap to vertex takes precedent on the end, and the snap to midpoint takes precedence in the middle. Well, well. yes. Yeah. So well, that's what all of this stuff is about. You right. See? And although it seems there's some default settings there as well. Yeah. But now it's important to note that if I come back to no snap, I turn that on, 
and now it's snaps to nothing. And so many times we've had users phoning us saying the snap modes are not working. It's because this snap thing is turned on. You see, now I can draw freehand and I can go snapping anywhere I like. Then I turn this off and then it's going to actually find points of interest on these lines. Right, in the older versions, no snap used to actually turn the other snaps off and then you'd have to go and return you'd the snaps you exactly. want back on and so that's why they, they made that change. Yeah. All right, so what I did there while you were talking, Dave, was I used the undo command. I went to the standard tool and went undo. And now I could actually undo all the way back to the beginning of the drawing, or I could right-click and, and redo. And so it's a nice way of, if you make a mistake, you just click undo, and then you go back, and then you carry on from where you're going. Right, again, I, I prefer to use my keyboard shortcuts on this particular one. If you go to the help menu and down to keyboard, you will see a complete listing of all your keyboard shortcuts. And these are somewhat consistent with the pull down menus. So, for example, if you go to modes, you'll see all your snaps. The vertex and, snaps and, and those. Point. And so, for instance, there's snap to vertex, like we talked about. Um, and then uh, if you close this window, you can print this out, by the way. But uh, go ahead and close this window. And if you go to modes on the pull down toolbar, at the top, there's where the snaps are actually listed on your pull-down menu. 